Axolotl Nini here with Irish. She's been floating. She couldn't get her feet on the floor yesterday. Um, today, she's still floating. Can't get her feet on the floor. I've had her tubbed uh, from where she had a fungus and she was sitting on the bubbler a lot. So I don't know if she's got an air bubble in her or if she's compacted. She likes to, she's, she was eating a whole lot. She was like eating almost two worms a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and she would never stop eating. I just had to stop at that myself. So here, she still can't get her feet on the floor. She's tipped a little, but finally her gills look good. Um, they're not curled anymore for the first time. I don't see any signs of fungus. So I'm probably gonna get some more water out of this bowl so she can get her feet on the floor. Just barely keep her covered and feet on the floor. I'm putting the Indian almond leaf back in there. It's really releasing good ten, uh, tenons. I don't know what it's called, but it's turning the water brown every time I tub her. Uh, first day I boiled it for three minutes and um, it's done really awesome. I'm going to put her bubbler back in. I just cleaned all this tub in hot water, super hot water, and I brought her temperature down gradually to 55. She's been having big poops every day. Um, yesterday, instead of giving her worms, I gave her brine shrimp. She ate a little bit. Um, this, this morning she wasn't really interested in eating and uh, I just tried to feed her brine shrimp and again she was not interested at all this time. So she's probably impacted a little bit. It looks like her belly's come down but look at that leg just floating right up. Both of them really. I don't know if it's air bubble or impaction. Just keeping a close eye on her. It looks like it, but her feet aren't even touching the bottom of the, the tub. So definitely taking some more water out. And I'm going to go over here and get her hide and put it back in there with her plant. feet still not even on the floor, not even the top one. Okay, her tub's all set up. And while we're waiting on her to get all better, uh, from what I heard, to get rid of fungus completely, it takes, it takes uh, at least five days to a week. So I'm gonna leave her in there for a week with that Indian almond leaf even though it looks healed. Um, I heard that if you put them back in the tank too early, one lady said that she put it back in the tank and then four days later it showed back up. So we're sticking with what's working here. And here's her big tank. Um, I'm just adding 10 drops of ammonia now because I noticed that adding 20 drops of ammonia to the 20 gallon long tank was um, causing the nitrites to really go up high and I had to do water change. So what was the nitrites, 40 over 40. So I had to do a 50% water change. So now I'm just feeding my good bacteria 10. And I took out the offending member, which was that big, big fern. Cause I'm afraid that's what scratched her 
um, and got her gills damaged, so causing her um, to get a fungus there. But this bloating thing, I think it's overeating. Could not get her to stop eating. Amazing. First time her gills have looked this good ever. Indian almond leaf is a miracle, y'all. Okay, going to remove some water. Have a nice day.